Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special guests, musical duo Angelo Uccello and Frank Piumbo, and singer Veronica Piumbo. And now, on with the show. Oh, give me land, lots of land, under starry skies above. Don't fence me in. Let me ride through the wide open country that I love. Don't fence me in. Let me be by myself in the evening breeze. Listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees. Send me off forever, but I ask you please. Don't fence me in. Just turn me loose, let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western skies. On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountain rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences. Gaze at the moon till I lose my senses. Can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't fence me in, just turn me loose. Let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western skies. On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I hear the mountain rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences. Gaze at the moon till I lose my senses. Can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't fence me in, oh no, Papa, don't you fence me in, yeah. Thank you. That was Don't Fence Me In, written by Cole Porter for the Warner Brothers film Hollywood Canteen and introduced by the King of the Cowboys, Roy Rogers and also recorded by the Andrews Sisters and Bing Crosby. Great, great tune. Talking about great, we have the two great musicians with us tonight, and here they are at the guitar, Sandy Renda. <laughs> and at the piano in that very tropical shirt, Mike Yanuzzi. <laughs> And we're here in our favorite indoor location, the beautiful Holiday Inn in Springfield, New Jersey. Let's hear it for the Holiday Inn. And of course, we're opening our show tonight with music and lyrics written by the great Cole Porter, who gave us so many wonderful tunes and wonderful shows. This tune was introduced, this next one was introduced by Fred Astaire on Broadway. It was also danced by Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers in the movies. And now it's my turn. Night and day, you are the one. Only you beneath the moon. And under the sun Whether near to me or far It's no matter, darling, where you are I think of you Night and day Day and night Why is it so that this longing for you follows wherever I go? In the roaring traffic's boom, in the silence of my lonely room, I think of you. Night and day, day and night, under the height of me, there's an oh such a hungry yearning, 
burning inside of me and its torment won't be through till you let me spend my life making love to you night and day night and day of me there's an oh such a hungry yearning burning inside of me and its torment won't be through till you let me spend my life making love to you day and night night and day Mike and Uzi, thank you both for helping me celebrate the music of the great Cole Porter. And talking about Cole Porter, Mike, you're soon to do one of his great shows, Anything Goes. Anything Goes, yep. Performing at the end of uh, July. 
And uh, for a change, I'm not the musical director. I'm actually in the show. What part do you play? I play Lord Evelyn Oakley. Oh, and you have to affect an English accent. Yes, a very proper English accent. But it's a lot of fun, having fun with that. That's wonderful. That was the part that Arthur Treacher played in the original Broadway production, which, of course, starred the great Ethel Merman. Right. Well, we wish you a lot of good luck Thank on you. that. And uh, now, Sandy, we've got some great guys coming up now who are making their second appearance on the show. That's correct. They were yeah. here about a year and a half ago, thanks to you, and they were such a big hit that we brought them back. But could you do the honors of introducing them? Oh, sure. Uh, Frank and Angel, terrific. Uh, Frank Piombo, Angel Lucello, they're really great. And um, they're going to do a, a real great song by uh, Michael Blue Blay, uh entitled Everything. And uh, I asked them if I could tag along on, on the song, and they said, oh, sure. So... We're going to have some fun with that one. It's a real good one. They, they worked out a real nice arrangement. They're great. And, of course, how did you first meet Frank, the guitarist? Frank, uh, through lessons, music lessons. He takes uh, guitar lessons with me. And pretty soon we're going to start switching chairs. He's going to be teaching uh, you? He'll be teaching me pretty soon. He's doing great. Oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah, really great. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> back by popular demand, the musical duo of... Angelo Uccello and Frank P. Umbo, accompanied by Sandy Randall. Let's hear it for them. You're a fallen star. You're the getaway car, you're the line of sand When I go too far, you're the swimming pool On an August day, and you're the perfect thing to say And you play a chord, but it's kind of cute And when you smile at me, you know exactly what you do Baby, don't pretend that you don't know it's true Cause you can see it when I look at you crazy life and through these crazy times it's you it's you you make me sing you every line your every word your everything you're a carousel you're a wishing well and you light me up when you ring my bell, you're the mystery, you're from outer space, you're every minute, my every day. And I can't believe that I'm your man, and I get to kiss you, baby, just because I can. Whatever comes our way, and we'll see it through, and you know just what our love can do. And in this crazy life. And through these crazy times, it's you, it's you. You make me sing your every line, your every word, your everything.
Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to our wonderful musical duo, Angelo Uccello. Welcome Steve, back. Frank you. Piambo. My pleasure. Thank and you. before we talk to you guys, Frank, will you do the honors of introducing our special surprise guest here? Sure. It's, a, it's an honor. It's uh, my daughter, Veronica Piambo, breaking into the business. So what better way to break her in than on your show? Well, thank you. Let's hear it for Veronica. Thank you. Thank you. And but before we bring Veronica on to do a song, I want to ask you guys, what have you been up to in the last year and a half since the last time you were on my show? Angelo? Well, we've been doing a lot of uh, um, weddings and uh, different parties together. Very good. Together, Very good. And, uh, we've been pretty as busy. As a duo or as with a band? As a duo, band? yes. With the duo. Just a duo. And fashion shows. Fashion shows. Oh, uh, very so good. I have my own That must be a lot company. of fun. Now tell me about this Trinity Theatrical Co- Productions. Trinity Theatrical Company. I started the company in 2007. We did a production of uh, Christmas, The Christmas Stranger in 2007. And then last year we did a production of a musical called Say Yes to Life. Um, it was a musical against drugs and alcohol. And from the uh, Perry Awards we got five nominations. Well congratulations. Thank you. Who wrote that show? The, uh, Say Yes to Life? Yes. Um, it was James Tobin. Okay. James Tobin. Very good. Yes. Now, are you the director of the production? Yes, I am. I'm the director. And you also perform in them? In some of them, yes. Okay. <laughs> but you, do you play the keyboard for all of the shows? Uh, if it's a musical, yes. Right. Oh, uh, so you do some non-musicals, too? Yes. Oh, sure. Oh, that's sure. very interesting. Sure. So how many shows a year do you think you'll be doing? Um, I will say between four and five. Very good, very yeah. good. Will you do some original material, too? We actually am in process to write a new musical, a Christmas musical, for December 2010. Oh, that's very exciting. It takes a lot of time. And you have a website for <laughs> yes, the... Uh, produ- please give that out. www.trinitytheatrical.com Give that out once more. www.trinitytheatrical.com very nice. And Frank, the last time you were here, you told the interesting story of how you and Angelo met and how many years ago that was. Why don't you give us a little yeah, refresher course on that? I guess it's almost close to 40 years ago. Angelo uh, was brand new in this country from uh, Sicily, and uh, we just happened to need a bass player at the time. Didn't realize that Angelo could play every instrument and also has a great voice. So that's pretty much started our, our friendship. And uh, Angelo is my best man. Uh, and it's a brother to me, more than anything else. Isn't that He's nice? First a brother, then a musician. He's a, yeah. Uh, we don't have that many relatives here, so we kind of, we bonded right away. That's yeah, great. That's great. So you actually met Angelo before you met Sandy Rendit. Yeah. But you've known Sandy quite a long time. I've known Sandy quite a few years, yes. And, um, and I just wanted to mention one. Angelo and I are going into Sandy's studio to record a new song that I just have written. You've written the song? Uh, with lyrics and everything, Angelo's going to sing it, but we're, we're, we're going to record it um, at Sandy Render's studio. What's the song called? Uh, Our Love. Our Love. And as soon as it's out, you'll get a copy. And not only that, but you'll be back on the show doing it. We, mm-hmm. can, we can do that. I'd like yes. that very, very much. And yeah. Angelo has some original stuff that he can do as well, so maybe we can collaborate. That's great. Thank That's you. great. Well, this is a very talented family, the Piembo family. You've met Frank. And now we're going to talk to Veronica. Welcome to show business, Veronica. Thank you for having me. Yes. What was your inspiration to go into music? Your dad? Absolutely. My dad has been a musician, well, for my entire life. That's, That's right. What I've known. He was so. even around before you were around. Yes. That's right. <laughs> so when did you first start singing? I've been singing forever, but I just recently started. I, I have some videos on YouTube. So I've been recently taking it more seriously, I guess you could say. And what are your favorite types of songs to sing? Country is my favorite. Very Which good. Mean very Kate good. Yeah. That's nice. And uh, is this your television debut? It is. Well, we're very <laughs> p- proud to be pr- presenting you your Thank first you. time on television. Now tell us about this number you're going to do tonight. This is uh, Meant For Me by Jewel. It's one of my favorite songs. Very good. Well, we're looking forward to hearing it. And uh, Frank, is there also a website for Angelo and Frank? Um, well, the last time I gave my website, but now I'm focusing more on, on my original music. So if, if people go to www.myspace.com forward slash Frank Piombo, you get the sample of my stuff. Give it out one more time. www.myspace.com forward slash Frank Piombo. 
Continued success to you, Frank, to you, Angelo. Thank you so much. And we're so happy to be launching the career of our next guest, Veronica Piumbo. Thank you very much. maple syrup everything but you I break the yolk and make a smiley face I kind of like it in my brand new place wipe the spots off the middle leave the keys in the door I never put wet towels on the floor anymore cause dreams last for so long even after you're gone Mama, she was out for a walk Could sold a cup of coffee But I didn't want to talk So I picked up my paper It was more bad news My heart's been broken A people being used Put all my gold in the pouring rain I saw a movie It just wasn't the same Cause it was happy And I was sad And and made me miss ya oh so bad cause dreams last for so long even after you're gone i know you love me and soon you will see you were meant for me and i was meant for you now go my business, I'm doing fine. Besides, what would I say if I had you on the line? Same old story, not much to say. Hearts are broken every day. There's a new stamp at the post office honoring one of America's greatest entertainers, Bob Hope, and one of my personal favorite people. We've done many tributes to Bob Hope on this show over the years, including Bob's 100th birthday in 2003. But right now, in honor of the new Bob Hope stamp, I thought we'd sing a couple of the songs that Bob introduced in his wonderful movie career. This one goes back to the Paramount film Rhythm Romance in 1939. Bob introduced this with Shirley Ross, and it was written by Frank Lesser and Burton Lane. If there's a gleam in her eye Each time she straightens your tie You'll know the lady's in love with you If she can dress for a date Without that waiting you hate It means the lady's in love with you And when your friends ask you over to join their table But she picks a faraway booth for two well, sir, here's just how it stands. You've got romance on your hands because the lady's in love with you. If you've been traveling by plane, she asks you to please take the train. You'll know the lady's in love with you. If she spends time with your folks and laughs at all of your jokes, it means the lady's in love with you. And Sunday night, when you take her to see that movie, and she says the balcony seats will do. Well, sir, here's just how it stands. You've got romance on your hands because the lady's in love. The lady's in love with you.
Thank you. And we've got some more good news about the Bob Hope family. Not only do we have the nice Bob Hope stamp, but I'm happy to say that Mrs. Bob Hope, Dolores Hope, recently celebrated her 100th birthday on May 27th. And she's also a wonderful singer. I got to see her in person a few years ago doing a concert with Rosemary Clooney. Right now we're showing an autographed picture sent to me by Bob and Dolores Hope. So, oh, happy birthday, Dolores. And we'd like to close off our Hope celebration with the great song introduced by Bob and Shirley Ross in the big broadcast of 1938, written by Leo Robin and Ralph Ranger. Thanks for the memory of candlelight and wine, castles on the Rhine, the Parthenon and moments on the Hudson River line. How lovely it was. Thanks for the memory of rainy afternoons, swingy Harlem tunes, motor trips and burning lips and burning toast and prunes. How lovely it was. Many's the time that we feasted, and many's the time that we fasted. Oh, well, it was swell while it lasted. We did have fun and no harm done. And thanks for the memory of sunburns at the shore, nights in Singapore. Might have been a headache, but you never were a bore. I thank you so much. We who could laugh over big things were parted by only a slight thing. I wonder if we did the right thing. Well, that's life, I guess. I love your dress. Thanks for the memory. And strictly entre new, darling, how are you? And how are all those little dreams that never did come true? Awfully glad I met you, cheerio and toodaloo. And thank you so much.